Hey everybody, Melissa here. Welcome to my channel. I'm so excited you're here. So today we're going to be in Excel and we're going to talk about data types. Now you might think about integers, whole numbers, or other kinds of data types, but that's not what we're going to talk about today. What if I were to tell you that you can pull live data from the internet right into your spreadsheet for stocks and geography? locations, capital cities, populations, and things like that. Do you think that was neat? Well, that's good, because that's exactly what I'm telling you, and I cannot wait to show you. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's start with stocks. Let's just say that we have some companies we're monitoring on the stock market. We have the company name, the ticker symbol, and we want to know the current price, previous close, the highest price, change percentage, 52 week high and 52 week low. Now we can either choose to look it up by the company name or the ticker symbol, and I'm gonna use the ticker symbol. What we wanna do is control shift down to select all of our companies, go to data, and we're gonna click on stocks. And as you can see, it has went through and extracted the company name and the ticker symbol. And you can see here, we have an insert data or an extract data to a cell. So if we start with say Microsoft and we click here, the first thing we wanna know is the price. And it's $262.65. Now over here, double click in the corner and it pulls all of your prices down. And yes, that is an accurate price for Berkshire Hathaway, <laughs> in case you were wondering. So let's look at the previous close. If we come back to where it's converted it to a stock, if we do this again and we look for previous close, click on it, and then go ahead and double click. If we want the highest price and find high, double click, change percentage, double click, 52 week high, double click, and then 52 week low. And we're gonna do the same thing. And there is your stock information. Now, it is stagnant right now, and what that means is it's not gonna sit there and constantly update for you. However, you can very quickly and very easily hit refresh all, and if there's any changes, it will update all of your data. And as you saw, a couple of them changed. So now let's look at geography. Now I have a list of all of the states in the District of Columbia in the US. So what we wanna do is select them all, control shift down, and instead of clicking stocks, we wanna click geography, and it's going to convert them. Now let's just say we want the capital city, population, median household income, medium home value, and the time zone. If we go in here, go to the capital or major city, there it is, click on it, carry it down, if you saw that hashtag busy pop up, don't be concerned about that. That just means it's trying to pull it in and it doesn't mean that there's an error. And it's pulled in all of our capital cities. So now let's say we want the population. We can do this one of two ways and get two different populations. We can do it for the entire state of Alabama or we can do it for the capital city here. Now I want it for the whole state and there it is. Go ahead and double click and it pulls it down for each of them. Now we want the median household income. Let's go back to the state and go to median household income and it puts it in there, double click, and there you go. We want the median home value. Go to the state and it says median value owner occupied housing units and there you have that. And then I wanna know the time zone because I'm curious. Now I'm glad this happened. If you see, Alabama is a central time zone. Alaska says hashtag spill exclamation point. This means that there's more than one time zone for that state. And if you wanna see both of them, if you just go in, the easiest way for me to do it is just go in and insert another line and it gives you the other time zone. Come down here insert and it gives you the other time zone because Florida is central and eastern. And then I'll fix the rest of these. Aren't you glad I didn't make you sit through all of that? <laughs> but that fixed our time zones with the spill error. And it put a space in between them so you can easily tell like Idaho has to, Indiana has to, and so on. Now let's look at global geography. So I have a list of countries here, and let's just say that we wanna know the capital city, the population, the gross domestic product, or the total value of goods and services produced by the country, and we wanna know the consumer price index, also known as inflation. So what we can do is we wanna convert these to geography, just like we did our US cities. So we're gonna control shift down, and then we're gonna to go to geography, 
and it's going to take a second and just remember you might see that hashtag busy exclamation point don't worry about it just let it finish and there we go so I'm gonna scroll down and see if I have any issues and I do if you see here there's a question mark on this one because it's like I'm not quite sure what you're looking for so wherever it's pulling its data from Palestine must be called something different so it gives us some suggestions well we're not in the US so I'm gonna click on this one and let it give me some more information so it's the Palestine National Authority there's the president the GDP so I'm gonna say okay this is the closest that I'm gonna get so let's just see if this has the information we need so I'm gonna select it and if you noticed it changed it so now let's go back up to the top so the first thing we're looking for is our capital city so let's go back to our insert extract data and let's click on capital or major city and then we're going to double click to carry it down so let's scroll down see if we have any issues so we have a hashtag field exclamation point now whenever you see that that means that the data we're trying to pull which in this case is the capital city cannot be found from our geographical data type let's see if we have any more nope that is the only one we have so the next thing we want to pull is our population so again like we did in the US we can pull the population of the country or the capital city but I want to pull it from the country go down to population double click and let's see if we have any field issues here and we do on our Palestinian National Authority so it may come down to even though that's where it's trying to pull data that we're not going to be able to get the data that we are looking for so let's look at gross domestic product go back to your country GDP double click and looky here the Palestinian National Authority we were not able to find the capital city we were not able to find the population however we were able to find the gross domestic product so let's look at the consumer price index also known as inflation double click oh we have a lot of these so it's not able to find it for Andorra Cuba and some of the other countries so that doesn't mean anything's wrong with your data it just means where it's pulling from it's not available so you'll have to decide if you just want to pull these out of your data set and not use these countries if all of this information is not available or if you can work around it if you want to refresh the data do refresh all and you can see it's working and then it's done and that is how you pull live data from the internet into your spreadsheet for stocks and geography pretty cool huh if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more content like this, be sure to subscribe to my channel before you go. And if you have any questions or feedback or ideas for future content, drop me a comment. And I'll see you in the next tutorial. Until then, thanks so much for watching.